Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I realized that I never started an intro for this video. So here it is and keep watching. You guys, I have been wanting these Yeezys since they first came out. These are my favorite Yeezys in the whole entire world to ever exist. And I refuse to buy them um, on GOAT or StockX or whatever because they are so expensive and I had my dad sign up for the draw because I wanted them so bad. I signed up my iPad, my phone, John's phone, everyone's phone just trying to get these damn Yeezys. And somehow my dad won them for me. He is my good luck charm. But here they are. I am so obsessed. I feel like they're so fun. They're going to be so cute for spring and summer with a nice tan. I'm so, so excited for these. These are like Literally my all-time favorite shoe ever. All right, guys, I'm making a little breakfast sandwich here. Um, I'm using this gluten-free bread that I got from Trader Joe's. I'm excited to try it and see how I like it because I want to find a super good gluten-free bread. And I'm using just some um, Colby Jet sliced cheese. I'm going to put it on here. And then I also cooked up two pieces of bacon. So, putting that on here as well. And then I have my egg, which I put right here because I don't want it to keep cooking in the pan because I like a runny yolk. So the bread slices are super small, but like that's perfect for me because I don't like a ton of bread. So I'll keep you guys posted on how this bread is. Okay guys, I can confirm that this was delicious. I did not notice any difference in my sandwich that was gluten-free bread. So this is the exact one I get. The whole grain gluten-free bread. I also bought um, the bagels, everything bagels. So I'm excited to see how these came out. I mean, Trader Joe's never disappoints. I also freeze mine so they stay um, longer better because I'm not gonna eat this every day. And then you just separate it and throw it straight into the, free, uh, into the toaster. You don't need to defrost them or anything, in case you didn't know. John and I came to Home Depot to my get favorite. Some... It's my favorite store. <laughs> because I hate the lighting in our house. It looks like a hospital light. Um, it's so blue and cool and it literally is depressing. So we're getting all warm and neutral lights. So that's what we're doing this late evening. So to Home Depot, we go. <laughs> so I was totally wrong on the names of these. I guess I have daylight right now, which you can tell is like a super cool tone. And it says right here, um, daylight, which is a more energizing light. And then the soft white is a more like yellow tone, like soft in the eyes. And then you have bright white, which is like super white. But I like um, kind of the more yellow tone because it's just more calming than this. Literally, as you can tell, it looks like a hospital. But I thought daylight would be a lot more natural, but Soft white is the winner. I'll show you guys what it looks like in my house too, so you can get an idea. All right guys, I lied. Soft white is too yellow for me. I'm gonna switch to bright white. I feel like that's way more neutral and better because that's just two yellow vibes. And also your paint color makes a huge factor on your lighting, so keep that in mind. Okay, now we have the super, look at the difference, perfect. Hospital lights, the more neutral lights. So let's take them out and see what a difference it makes in this space. I'm so excited. Wait, I feel like it looks weird. I'm not used to this. What do you think? Is it too yellow, dude? Imagine if we got the other one, it would have been so yellow. You're not used to it, but no. Okay, that's yellow. Huh? That's yellow. <laughs> this is really weird. I don't know if I'm into it. I don't know if I'm into this. This looks kind of weird. What do you think? Is this weird or no? too comfortable with looking like whatever on camera 
but I wanted to show you guys my new blue light glasses that I just got on Amazon. They were literally like six bucks. They were clear. I always get the worst headaches ever from being on my computer and phone all day. So I really wanted a pair and then these ones were like Amazon's top choice and they were like six bucks. So I said, let's do that. And then also I wanted to show you guys um, this new deodorant I got is the crystal deodorant. Um, John and I have stopped wearing deodorant. John's done it longer than I have, but, um, I know that sounds super gross, but if your body, um, when your body, uh, I can't think. When you stop wearing deodorant, you're only going to smell for the first couple days because your body is getting rid of those toxins. So after the first couple days, you're going to stop smelling. So, um, obviously summer's coming and I still like need to have some protection under my armpits because it just feels weird not to. And this is supposed to be like the cleanest one ever. The only thing that's in it is potassium alum, which is a mineral, a salt mineral, I believe. And your, um, lymph nodes in your armpit is where you have the most amount of lymph nodes in your whole entire body. So using crappy, um, deodorant is so bad for you. Um, I've been using Dove. John's been using... I think Old Spice or something. And those are so highly, come with so many chemicals. So I'm eating good food, I'm doing all this stuff. So I feel like it's so bad to be using such a bad deodorant. So today's my first day using this. Um, you're supposed to dampen either your armpit or the um, crystal. I'll open this up for you guys if I can with one hand. So yeah, I just, want to make that change and see how it is. I mean, I'm not sweating. I'm not smelling. So that's good. That's what this looks like. I got unscented. Literally doesn't smell at all. So there's that. I will keep you guys updated on how I like it. My crazy ass is back with more light updates. So last night I was trying to convince myself that I like the yellow lighting but it just looked really weird in the space because everything is so cool. So I went, exchanged them, um, and got all my old lights back because that yellow in the super gray space just looks not good. So back to daylight lights. So I'm making myself a little lunch here. I have some leftover chicken from dinner the other night. I have leftover potatoes from last night and then peppers from the night before. So I'm just mixing up everything that I had from the past couple nights and making it into a little lunch. Also, don't mind the huge mess that my chicken made. Hi guys. Oh my god, my hair looks crazy. Another car talking series. I am going to Costco because I woke up this morning. Went to go make myself a coffee and I had zero coffee pods. So that was um, very upsetting for me because I love my morning coffee. So, gotta go buy some coffee pods. Um, I don't know what else I need. From Costco but I love going to Costco it's my favorite store ever so we'll see what else I end up picking there why is my Bluetooth going crazy anyways today's a super like gloomy day I'm feeling like kind of depressed like not feeling it today I woke up I didn't go to the gym because my whole body is like sore and um, it makes me not feel very good when I don't go to the gym so I feel like I'm gonna go this afternoon because it makes me feel happier um, so that's one thing about working out people think it's just for physical looks but it is for your mental health as well like i know how productive and how much happier going to the gym makes me feel so i'm just trying to do things that are going to put me in a better mood going to costco puts me in a better mood i want to go to the gym i'm going to read a book and just pick myself back up um, i made a delicious smoothie one of my favorites with um, mango banana and spinach and that made me feel really good so I'm just gonna go to the store and come home, have a little lunch, and just try to flip my day upside down. Everyone can feel sad and upset and whatever at times. Literally nothing even happened. I just woke up and it just gloomy me out. I don't know. So this is your sign to make yourself feel better. If you're feeling the same way, do things that make you happy, journal, make your favorite meal, just do things that truly bring you happiness. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm so happy that I ended up getting out of the house because I was at Costco, like I just said. And there's this old couple and this guy was in the um, 
electric wheelchair things that they have. I can't think of what they're called. And he was having a hard time getting out to get a couple of cases of water. And they're super heavy, especially for old people. And his wife is obviously too old, so I asked him if they needed help loading their cart. And, um, they're like, yeah, sure, if you don't mind. So I'm like, of course. So I went up and I got them a couple of cases of water. And then the guy went in his pocket. He was, like, reaching for something to give me. And I'm like, no, 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 thank you so much. But no, I'm not taking anything. Then he finally catches up to me and he hands me a sucker. Where is it? And he said, this is what I call my act of kindness sucker. Whenever I see people doing nice things for others, I like it for me too, but especially for others, I always like to give them a sucker. And I almost started crying because... This is why I love old people so much. Who else keeps candy for acts of kindness on them? Like, is that not the sweetest thing you've ever heard? So, that boosted my mood. It's making me emotional. Why? I don't know. Um, it must be the time of the month coming up on me soon because there's no reason to get emotional. I just thought that was so cute. So, be nice. Make someone stay. Help out an old person if they need help. Imagine you being old one day and struggling to grab something and needing someone's help. So I always like to put myself in other people's shoes. And I also always obviously think about my grandparents. But my rule of life is always uh, put yourself in someone else's shoes and see if you would like that or if you wouldn't like that. So yeah, I've always said that. So tip of the day, help out someone in need. Okay guys, I have the everything bagel from Trader Joe's. I'm trying it for the first time. I'm very nervous. I have just some Colby Jack cheese and a fried egg and some Chula hot sauce on top. Um, I'm very scared to try these types of things because if I don't like it, I will literally gag and I need to eat because I'm freaking starving. So I will update you in a minute and let you know how it is. But first we got to yum. Love that. So. One moment, let me take a bite. Sad to inform you guys, these are just all right. I'm not a huge fan. It didn't taste bad, just like the consistency was kind of weird. Like when it breaks apart in your mouth, I was not a fan of it. So unfortunately, I did not finish my bagel because I told you I get grossed out and I start gagging and I cannot eat it. But it's not terrible. So I don't know. But it's just, I like the toast better person. Guys, so my sister went to Miami and I've been babysitting her dog. And she was supposed to come back today, but they canceled like all flights from Miami. So she can't come back till Wednesday. And now I've been babysitting this little angel girl. And at first she was so hard to deal with, but now we are obsessed. She's just so, um, what's it called? What's the word on the word on? I don't know why I always draw blanks. Sweet. No, yeah, sweet, but she's, um, why well, help me think? A little angel? No. <laughs> why can't I think of Adorable? No. <laughs> I mean, she, yeah, she's all of those, but she needs to be next to me every single second because she, oh, separation anxiety. There we go. Mm -hmm. She, I guess she's a head so, poodle. Watch, walk away and see what she does. Yeah, watch. The second I walk away, she's coming with me everywhere I go. Hey. Everywhere I go. Hmm. She's following me. What? She's following me. Watch go there, go there and watch she she But you have food on you, so she might not come. Bye, Moki. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's running the second say bye. But I love her so much. I love her so much. She's the sweetest little girl, even though she has separation anxiety. It's okay. It's okay, honey. It's okay. I love you. I love you. So my nighttime skincare is all done. I just made myself a marshmallow leaf tea and I'm getting ready to read a book and just wind down for the night. And I thought I'd end off this vlog here and I'm gonna start a new one off tomorrow. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe.